Honorable Mr. Chairman, Sir, I am so thankful to you for giving me this opportunity at the big end of the discussion. Normally, we are the victims, small parties. Of course, we can express our views on this parliament, but whenever discussion takes place, the bigger parties are given more time, more than they deserve. The small parties, we should be given ample opportunity to protect the cornerstones of this constitution, secularism, federalism, social justice. Today, we are standing at the crossroads of the history. Secularism has become a question mark. Social justice has become a question mark. So what we are going to do with these questions and because brutal majority should not bulldoze the basic concepts of this constitution, particularly social justice and secularism. If, 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 if it happens, then the future of the country, the integration of the country will become a question mark. This is my perception and I am so thankful to you once again, you are a legal luminary and you have been handling so many portfolios and as a minister, as a parliamentarian, as a jurist. Therefore, I, we also expect justice from the chair. I once again extend my heartiest thanks and felicitations and congratulations to you for having me become the chairman of this house. Thank you very much.